She knows exactly what she wants And she knows exactly what she deserves And it makes them boys nervous Hey guys, it's Kira Part 2 with Love United What's going on? It has been a minute since we actually sat down And had a conversation and talked about some things Ah, first let's start from the beginning if you are new here well, hello welcome to the party please make sure you hit the subscribe button please also make sure you hit the little notification bell so you'll be aware every time the kid posts something new if you are coming back hey boo what's good what's popping so key season is in full effect key day has come and gone i went on a cruise for my birthday it was amazing the cruise itself was amazing the islands were amazing the ports were amazing it took a lot to get there though um if you want to know the story let me know maybe i can do some type of story time type of situation about it because uh it was a lot but today i want to talk about expectations so one thing excuse me well i want to let's rewind so i want to do let me know what y'all want because I think I want to do like a key day, vacay, like summarize like everything that happened as far as like the islands and the things I learned as a first time traveler out of the country and being a plus size girl traveling, all those things. So if you want to know about that, let me know in the comments and we can get that popping. But one of the things that I learned on this trip or that really um, stuck out to me, this trip is what I want to talk about today. So. I got to the airport and didn't realize until I got there that I actually had left my headphones and anybody who knows me knows I love music. I'm a music baby. So I was like, oh my goodness, how am I going to thrive without them? And honestly, forgetting them was probably the best thing that I could have done because God really spoke to me, really dealt with me about some things, really just... I felt him this week and it was amazing I actually just got back today back to Cleveland today and it was amazing he just really I felt like God showed me preferential treatment all week and everything I asked for he did I asked for it to not rain on my birthday it didn't rain I asked for you know to him to hold off crazy weather while we were gone he did I asked for it was one part we take we uh me and my friends were taking pictures with dolphins and it got really gray and I was like Lord please let the sun come back out when it's time for our pictures the sun came back out like God really he really just loved on me this week and I needed that especially because of some of the other things that was going on during the trip which leads me to what this video is about today which is expectations so it's really important to make sure that the expectations that you have for people that they're willing to live with inside of them because if you don't you will be disappointed sometimes we subconsciously put we subconsciously put expectations on people who did not ask for them, did not deserve, don't deserve them. And there are sometimes people that we think, you should be able to handle this because you're my such and such. You're my cousin, you're my pastor, you're my mother, you're my whatever. Based on this title that you have in my life, you should be able to handle the things that I expect from you. And I realize that as I get older and as I change, and as I am more intentional about wanting to live the purposeful life that I always talk to you guys about, I am changing. And I think I talked about this a little bit before, but like this week really showed me more like as I change and I do the work to be self-aware and to point out my inaccuracy, um, inaccuracies, is that the word? Point out the things about me that just aren't copacetic, the things that need to change as I do my personal work sometimes it can get frustrating when you see other people who aren't or when you see that they just aren't willing to be honest or they aren't willing to admit when they're wrong or when they're not just when they just when they're living below the expectations that you have for them it can be really frustrating but in those moments you have to remember one you're the one i'm the one that's changing the rules of engagement, right? Because as I grow and as I change, my expectations grow and change. And that's not always fair. Everyone is not where you are. 
everyone can't be held to the same standard that you're held to or that you hold yourself to. And this week I learned that, I won't say the hard way, but I definitely got that lesson loud and clear. And I can say, and like I said, I had fun. I love everybody who came with me. I appreciate them. But again, like even in those moments, you still, there are multiple lessons to be learned. You know what I'm saying? And that was definitely one that was necessary. So you might say, so what do you do in those moments when they disappoint you and they don't live up to the expectation? What do you do? You cut them off, you stop talking to them. I mean, it really depends on the person. Me, I choose to try to love them where they are. And that's extremely hard because I'm not gonna lie, my first instinct is to be done, if we're being honest, because it's very easy for me to dismiss people out of my life which I'm not saying it as a good thing. It just is what it is. But it's important to love people where they are and to ask God, like that's where discernment comes in, ask him like, what is your role supposed to be in this moment? Lord, is this a situation where I'm supposed to help this person? Am I supposed to be the sounding board in this situation? Am I supposed, what, what role is it that I'm supposed to play? Am I supposed to leave this person alone? And if I am, Lord, give me the strength to do that so i don't feel any type of way about it but it's important to figure out exactly what your role is supposed to be and find peace in what that role is and then operate and go from there because like i said what i chose to do is i'm not going to get upset i'm not going to lie and say i didn't but after i had my initial light it was like you know what i'm gonna let you have that i'm going to enjoy myself i'm going to Continue being me despite you. One of, and I, I think I've talked about this as well before where it's really important to me for me to be who I know I'm supposed to be regardless of what anyone else does. If someone else is acting a fool, acting crazy, wild and all that, that's fine. That's their business. But Akira, Akira is going to continue to be the upright, intelligent, smart, God-fearing woman that I am growing into like I'm going to continue being that person and I'm going to treat you the way that I treat you regardless of how you treat me so despite my feelings being hurt despite being in my feelings and feeling abandoned and feeling all these other emotions at one point I choose this to love I choose this to be who God wants me to be and you have to get to that place because it's such a freeing place it's in the moment, it's frustrating a little bit because it's like you want to be just as stinking petty as that person is being. But it's like, you know what, God, I know you didn't call me to be that person. And I believe that you will honor my obedience. I believe you will honor the fact that I'm really trying to be who I know you want me to be. And he has. Like, he, he's given me a peace about it. And he's given me vision. And he's given me direction because of the decisions I made out of that situation and I'm grateful for it and I'm excited. So I guess this is just encouragement. We're gonna, there are gonna be times when people don't live up to your expectations. There are gonna be times when people who you thought you didn't even have to worry about gonna come out of left field and that's okay. Just make sure that you continue to be yourself. You continue to be your good hearted, self you continue to be your god fearing self you continue to be your god led self and i promise that in the moment you might feel away but god will show you there was a reason why that situation had to go the way it did there was a reason why things had to move the way they did to get you to the next place he wants you to be in so i hope this was helpful i love you guys so much like i said at the beginning please make sure you like comment subscribe share this video with people that you you know all that good stuff if you want to know more about my vacation if you want to know about the swimsuit situation because the kid was cute <laughs> the kid was cute but if you want to know like the more stuff about my vacation let me know in the, in the comments and i will definitely do a video about that um but i love y'all i appreciate y'all i hope y'all have an amazing week and like i always say as long as you're running your race at god's pace you're exactly where you're supposed to be bye guys you know that girl can make everything you got a little better she can change your world for the better